Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Iman and we are watching Outlander. This is season two. <laughs> Why am I thinking I'm not on season two? This is season two, episode eight, The Fox's Lair. Last episode was indeed a heavy one. And I truly appreciate that with this show. It, it gets really deep and dark in some ways um, and very, very real. It might seem sometimes a little bit more exaggerated, which of course it's, it's a TV series. It's supposed to be entertaining, but there's like some real life messages that we should all take to heart. I, <laughs> I've been thinking about Jack Randall and <laughs> I don't know that like I'm, he confuses me completely. I, I don't want, it's like hard cause I don't want to understand his mind, but at the same time, it's important to understand like the why, I guess, because it helps, it just helps to understand why people do s stuff. And I don't know if that helps like for the future, because, you know, we can't necessarily control families and what they do in their families. Like everyone has a freedom to be free, but at the same time, there's just certain things that obviously happen in families that can create people like Jack Randall, like abuse and crazy, crazy traumatic experiences. So I'm, I'm just curious if we'll ever get a, a backstory to, to Jack, because I just don't understand. He's, he's perplexing, like genuinely perplexing. Like I can't, I don't know how he just walks into the brothel and just how, like, how does that even happen where he's like, eh, okay, well, you're here. So yeah, like the, the guy is unhinged. He's very, very unhinged. I was thinking about uh, the Claire and her friend, and I forget the friend's name, but the they were you know, they were Saint Germain and and him, they were on trial, and Claire was doing all her like white witch stuff, and he poisoned Saint Germain or Germain, and I was like, dang, that's crazy. But but at the same time, I guess I I feel like he did that. I mean, I don't know. Maybe we'll get the answer in this episode, but I feel like he did that because he admitted to trying to kill Claire. So if the if the poison that he had bought from the Cascara, he had bought it from Claire's friend. And um, I think he just was like pissed off, like, all right, you did that to my friend. I'm going to do this to you and you're not going to live. But I'm not sure. I was thinking about that to see. It was like, is it just to to kind of um, is it like, does it satiate the 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 king's appetite for for bloodlust? It's like, okay, well, at least someone died. That could be part of it, or it, and also just like this. He's like, you killed, you tried to kill my best friend. I'm gonna kill you. Well, guys, I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready. This doesn't look good. Honestly, I pressed play. I didn't press play. It automatically starts. And the first thing in the the intro or the the intro that it'll tell you like the back, whatever, whatever it's called, the, the <laughs> what's it called when it shows you the past and what has happened. Anyways, I saw Larry, so I'm not happy because she's going to be in this episode. And I don't know. I don't want to see her. I really don't. I thought we were never going to see her again. Um, all right, guys. I'm ready to jump in. Um, you can find the full timer reactions on Patreon and you'll get those ahead of time as well. Just have early access there. <clears throat> and this isn't a market substitute. Basically, you just have to go on and, you know, if you watch this on Stars or Netflix, as I do, I pay for a subscription and I just commentate and explain and express my joys of watching these series. And so I'm hoping uh, I am, I know for a fact that everyone here has seen and read the books. So I, I don't need to say this really, but I do need to say this because there's just issues with copyright and people taking advantage of these situations. Um, but when you go to the full timer reactions on Patreon, you will not find the actual video. Um, it'll be blurred. There will be no audio. It's just my commentary and a time code to just stay in, um, to basically stay in like the, in place with me. 
so you don't lose your spot. Um, but you would just open up another Netflix a, a page. You would open up another Netflix page or stars. And so you'll have two browsers open and that's how you can watch it along with me. Or if you've memorized these episodes, you'll know where, where I'm at anyways. But those links are in my description in. Wow, I'm losing my mind. The, <laughs> the links to Patreon are down in my description box below, and you can click those links there if you would like to join. And I appreciate you all. Thank you. Let's get started. And with French money, we will unite the clans, and I will lead you all to the gates. Mark of me. And That's right. Why am I like on his side now? <laughs> I will follow him. I feel like my spirit home is probably Scotland or New Zealand. I, f I feel like that's, I I've always wanted to move to New Zealand. I mean, I, I'm one of those nerds, the, the Lord of the Rings nerds, but so when I first watched the Lord of the Rings, I was like, wow, this place is beautiful. And I got so obsessed. Yeah, I would love to, to move there, to live there, to visit, I don't know. But I also love Scotland. I've never been, but I just think it's just gorgeous. Oh, we are back. <laughs> oh my God, I feel like I can breathe again. Oh, this is the deer we always see. We began planning our future, but as a very prescient Scot once observed, the best laid schemes of mice and Are men. they gonna bring Fergus here? They sh Hopefully they brought Fergus. Oh my goodness, Yeah, those, those are so huge pot potatoes. Oh, she did tell them to Why not? to grow, to plant potatoes. A grand potato, if ever I saw one. Oh, Fergus is there. Oh my god. Eat them with salt. Yes. Butter is good too. Yes. We Sour cream. We can mash them with milk. I can't deal with them. <laughs> Charles has landed in Scotland and is gathering his army. Oh this was no. Published, distributed. The names on this are traitors to the crown. Oh gosh. They literally cannot catch a break. It's all coming to pass, isn't it? I love what Claire is wearing. Light rising, Lodden. I love what Jamie Kansas. is wearing too. Leave them to the, the It's like the British British. That's the thing about running away. It's like why 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 is it us that is like free from getting it hurt? But then what about the other people? I don't know. Stay. I don't know. Doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different result. <laughs> they have never traveled through time. That's true. No. No. I should have told you before we went. I'm sorry. This <laughs> Goodness. <can't laughs> <remember me. laughs> you must know your father's parentage makes no difference to me. Yeah, thank God that's not really a thing anymore. I mean, well, maybe in some places, but I mean, not with pecs like those. <laughs> I'm kidding. It doesn't matter what kind of pecs you have. It doesn't matter what you're, uh, I mean, I'm a bastard too. So, hey, oh, really? Are we going to bed or are we going to bed? This room is so pretty. I love the blue. Man, she, some people are really lucky, huh? I get to be carried to bed. <laughs> Why, my kitty, I don't know what is her deal today. Seek, what's up? Whispers in the night. I do not like that. That makes me uncomfortable. Like, where are you? You're supposed to be in bed with me. What's going on? Mm. Oh my God. He's so cute. Oh my God. <laughs> Him, not even your betrothed at the time. Don't make me regret giving it to you now. <laughs> if you don't come back, brother, I'll never forgive you. It was a very long time. <laughs> no. Just where do you think you're going? No, no, Fergus. <laughs> oh <laughs> my god. <laughs> you're too young to fight, laddie. Oh. You're right here with us. You can help Rabby in the stables till my lord returns. Aye. <laughs> I haven't killed him first. <laughs> <laughs> we'll keep him well away from the battle. I mean, God, I don't know. That's terrifying. I wonder how long they'd been back. 
<clears throat> from France before they've had to like travel again. <sighs> During our ride to Beaufort Castle, Jamie filled me in on what he knew. Wow, so green. <laughs> Lord Lovett had had three wives. Wow. Two of them acquired by nefarious means. <laughs> what what means? What did he do? How did he acquire them? <laughs> God, this guy is Lord just shady. Wait, how is he still alive? Sounds like he'd be like super old. Wow, all those antlers. Call him. I arrived this morning myself. Yes, For I what? entered the courtyard from the window. I'm pleased to see that you're well. You have to excuse me if I find that hard to believe. Yeah. But her grandmother, Mrs. Fitz, persuaded me she could keep the girl in check. Is Dougal with you? That's not true, but okay. No. Yeah, where is Dougal? He's so funny. <laughs> I'd forgotten what a curious mind you have was. Oh my god, why did he oh oh jeez. Oh, oh freaking hell. And did the bastard who made him. Jeez. No need to take away nice to meet you, grandfather. Trickery. <laughs> like what? It's time to talk politics with my grandson and my rival. Wow. <laughs> Claire? I know that would be so hard for me. I would not want to move out and be like, but you have to bite your tongue. Mr. Spazer, I've been looking for you since I heard you were here. Shit, what? Why is she here? No, dude, yeah. I would not want her Did near the me. Tell you I was, my grandmother sent me along to wash his laundry and help wherever I'm needed. No. I wanted to find you, though, because my grandmother has made me see I cannot be right with God until I make amends for the pain my I'm sorry. Was. That um, priest said the same thing so. and then smirked. I don't trust anyone anymore. <laughs> like, you speak of God. Right. Like, come on. Just have to find another way, because I can't help you. That's fair. That's very fair. I feel like, even if she has changed, like she's got to do much more than that. Just saying sorry, like. Bit of decoration at the dinner table. <laughs> as long as that decoration doesn't speak. Wow. Oh my God. God. Ah. <laughs> An inside view of this holy rebellion. Aye, but I didn't know how holy it is. Claire just wants to say something. <laughs> so the French have not yet committed to Prince Charles. Always an unreliable ally. Everyone. We will welcome the French support when it comes, but we don't need it. I don't know. Look, this guy keeps looking at her. I'm worried. He seems like he can do some Enough damage, though. Talk tonight. He seems a bit, like, off. Like, I don't know. Why doesn't Colin just speak to him directly? Because my grandsire doesn't that trust my uncle. Jeez. Nobody trusts anybody in this show. <laughs> I'm Claire. Maisley. Lord Lovett, see her. Oh, interesting. Wait. Man, he does not like women. <laughs> like, at all. And he chose her. Good. And that place, my bro, over me. You good? You ass? I'm just, I'm gonna pause this because I'm on, this is season two, episode eight, and I'm confused. And I think by the time this episode gets out to YouTube or Patreon and then to YouTube, yeah, like, I'm going to get a lot of people in the comments probably being like, no, 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 this is what's going on. No, this is what's going on. I, so I thought Charles Stewart would like, he did not want to, like he was, he didn't want to follow Charles Stewart. I don't know. Maybe right now is not the time for me to like go into this. I'll have to like look this up. I'm cause now I feel like I'm just lost, but that's fine. That's fair. That's okay. Um, but basically, if you guys have corrected me, I'm, I'm like pretty far ahead. So I'm, yeah, at this point, I don't know. I'm trying to understand that this rebellion thing, like I'm, it, it's, it's, it's confusing for me. I, I do need to probably actually have like a little history lesson on this, like watch, um, 
like a video talking about about it, like at least a summary of what happened. All right, I'm gonna jump back in. You made free with your housemates. Perhaps others did too. Mm. Oh, oh, Christ, laddie. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> The man that takes her in on a woolly embrace will have his privates blasted. <laughs> like a frostbitten apple. <laughs> and his soul. Man, I wish I could, I wish all women could have that like but covering over them. So people are like, oh, I will never do that to you. Never in hell. Wow. Oh my God, the dramatics. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Wow, he's really like, he's like, whoa. Is that Jamie's shirt? Oh, God! I've done nothing to it. She's so, I, that is creepy. You've changed. I have repented Wait. and asked God's forgiveness. I'm sorry, but like, if she oh, was a God, dude, God, we would be God. like, that's creepy. So why can't we? That was strange. Do not trade your home for a war you can win. Mm -hmm. Will you promise me that? I promise you, Uncle. I promise you. I will do what I must to save those things you and I hold most dear. Okay. Well. Um, all right. <laughs> My father's still a vigorous man. Some have speculated he's immortal. <laughs> as, as you may have noticed. Yeah. If Mistress Lady wouldn't prefer her solitude. <laughs> Oh, no, I'd welcome the company. <laughs> He's like, okay. <laughs> Go loudest of thunder on louder waves roll. <laughs> Aw. Perhaps you'd the... like to sit down. <laughs> Aw. He's sweet. I was kind of worried about him. I was like, I don't know if he can do something, some damage, but maybe he, maybe he's a, he's a good kid. Oh, the seer. No wonder he ran off. Oh, he ran off to kill his dad. He's like, but he's gonna be the one with the axe. Jamie. Aw, he's always with the horses. Thought I'd find you in here. Hmm. That would be me if I had horses. I do this. No oh, man. The future of my family. No, that's not going to. That's the opposite of that. Someone throw a rock at Jamie's head. Stop. Stop. Oh, good, 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 good. <laughs> what are you staring at? Oh, she sees something. Oh, she's going to say <sighs> what Maisley said. It's another vision. Leave on me. <laughs> He's like, hold on. <laughs> He's like, I need to know. <laughs> <laughs> he was wearing a black hood. Oh no. <laughs> oh my god. How dare you thwart me, boy? Well, sometimes you can change the course of history. <laughs> I'll fight to change the white lady's vision. Wow. I wish you luck, my boy. Wow. Come <laughs> he looks like Timothy Chalamet. <laughs> Well, some that, but but that was good. Like he needed to to stand up to his father like that. Something something's gonna change because of that. Before we go, there's something that I need you to do for me. Say thank you to Leary. Wow. Thank you. <laughs> for what? <laughs> Not trying to have you arrested in the last few days. <laughs> for me. Oh my god. Well, that's pretty big. That's big of Claire, honestly. I, uh, her heart is like down, like in her tummy right now. I hope one day I can also earn your forgiveness, Jamie. <laughs> Jamie. <laughs> and your love. She's still there. She just needs like a little right here, just a little like that. Just like, you know, not very hard, but just. Kind of her brain needs to like have a little like shift like, oh, yeah, I'm okay. I'm, I need to stop thinking this way. Like, stop. <laughs> ah. What the heck? 
Is this Dougal's men? I feel like this is like Dougal's men. What? So they are uh, they're coming? Don't sit there giving at me, you glick at some Go see your men. Oh, wow. Please tell me I'm nothing like him. <laughs> How does is he like 200 years old? I might have to <laughs> rethink our agreement not to lie to one another. <laughs> My heart's lightened. <laughs> Jamie would have the prince's favor and at least the opportunity to These are my men. My yeah. Well, no, I guess. But yes, y yay and nay. Superstition and being older. No, I don't know. That isn't that. Not just because you're older doesn't mean you'll automatically be superstitious, but it does go hand in hand. Um well, love it is uh difficult to <laughs> just a difficult man he's interesting he's got a lot of like i don't know how old the guy is but he see like honestly he should be like 80 or 90 or something i think but yet he's pretty healthy lots of vigor still larry leary i don't know i don't get i just i don't get her i don't know what she's gonna do but i i honestly it's you can't just for Claire, I get it because I'm a lot like Claire in, in the fact that like forgiving people, I forgive people quite easily. It's hard for me to hold on to a grudge. But sometimes you need to like and not in like a way of it, it, it festering in you and you're like constantly in hate towards that person. But just being like that person did something so crazy that I cannot trust this person like what Leary did is not like it's not an accident like that was it, it she wanted Claire to die and she found every um excuse in the book like and it wasn't just because she wanted Claire to die she wanted to have Jamie and she saw Claire as being in the way like she she needs help like real genuine help and back then obviously there wasn't anybody to help you with the help you needed so i mean she's genuinely having like a mental health issue with this like and i don't take i'm not even trying to um make a joke because i know how serious that gets i deal with my own stuff i'm being honest as like a person that has has seen stuff like this in real life has de dealt with my own stuff I, she needs to find help. Is she going to be able to do that? No, because of the times. But that is not something, you know, you can let it go. Like Claire can just, I'm going to be done with it. I won't fester and hate towards this woman, but don't trust her. Don't, you just can't. It wasn't like a small, she stole your earrings or something like that. She's like, oh, I really like your earrings. Let me borrow them and never gave them back or something. Like this was serious and sinister and a plot, like premeditated. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But a uh, young Simon, he was, he surprised me. I thought he was going to be like someone that was un un a little unhinged and, and, did da more damage than good but he was just he's just he's just a he's just a kid but yeah he's he he has a, a what's it called an overbearing father and i understand how that is having an overbearing parent who's extremely controlling and and a bit condescending and all of that like it's hard to make decisions for yourself it's hard to find who you are it's hard to stand up for what you believe in and so he did a really awesome job with that. And I just, yeah, it was, it was a good episode. Um, there's pieces that are missing, obviously, that I would find if I read the book. And I do plan on doing that. So I do plan on reading the book. And when I do, I'll probably do something like some sort of a book book club type thing where I'll make some uh, some videos just updating. But the book is long. The first book is like over 600 pages, I believe. So that's, it's just, it's wild. 
But anyways, that is all for now. I, I will see you guys uh, next week. Thank you so much for watching and supporting me and this channel. And I will see you soon. Bye, everybody.